Okay, assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Today we're going to do um, a revision on the Johnson rules. Okay, on having two machine and we have a uh, few jobs how to to rearrange it. Okay, so we have uh, seven jobs and then we have two machine here. Find the optimal sequence using Johnson rules. And then we need to find the throughput means that the whole process of these two machines, okay, what is the total time. And then we need to find the idle time for each machine first, and then we total up. And then we need to find the total waiting time uh, for the job in which we have uh, seven jobs here. So we're going to total up the waiting time for the job and then construct a gun chart and then what kind of improvement that can be done to reduce the waiting time. Okay, first we need to uh, do the sequence, okay, based on the Johnson rules. Okay, since we have two machine here, A and B, so if you get uh, easily confused, the best thing is to do it vertically, okay, machine A first, the machine B, and for this question, they do it horizontally, so we need to be very careful, okay. The first one, for the both machine, we need to find the smallest or the minimum time. So from this number is 8. So since uh, 8 is located for machine A, so we go to the front door. Remember? The front and the back door. I, I, I taught you earlier. So since it's machine A, so we go in from the front. And then the next uh, smallest is 9. So it's in machine B, so we go from the back door. So C is here, and then the next one is 10. Since it's machine A, so go for the front door, and then A gonna be here, the job A. And the next one, oh, there's another 10 here, remember? Since it's a machine B, we go at the back door, so E is here, and then we find there's 11 here. Machine A, so go to the front door. G is here, and then the next 11 is here. Since so machine B, go towards the back door. D, and definitely we know that F should be here. So the sequence is going to be B, A, G, F, D, E, C. If you get this wrong, the whole thing is going to be wrong. Okay, so next you have to do the... Uh, so you need to answer the question. They ask you find the optimal sequence. So these are the sequence B, A, G, F, D, E, C. And then next, you have to do this table, okay? Machine A, machine B, in and out table, we call it. And then remember, we need to uh, put the sequence here. So B, A, G, F, D, E, C should be at this column, okay? So how to fill out? We need to start with the machine A. Remember, okay, this is all the data for machine A. And follow the sequence here. So the we need to complete the first one. So just start with zero. 0 and then B, job B is here, so 0 plus 8, we got 8, bring 8 here. And then the next one for machine A is 10, so 8 plus 10 is 18. And then G for machine A is 11, so 18, bring here, 18 plus 11, 29, bring 29 here. And then check here, for machine A, F is 17, so 29 plus 17 is 46. So you have to do until the... Last one in which this is C, okay? If you can see, it, yeah, there's a C there. So C, and then the last one is 84, bring 84 here. So 80, C is 15, so 84 plus 16, you get 99. Okay, next, we need to fill out for machine B, but very careful with machine B because you need to check the out for machine A and also uh the out from machine b okay first we start with this one so this one straight go to machine b so gonna be eight and then eight plus job b for machine b is 15 so eight plus 15 23 okay be careful now 23 and 18 so which number is the biggest we're going to put into this box so 18 and 23 so 23 is bigger so you put 23 here and then 23 plus Machine B, job A. So machine B, job A is 15. So 23 plus 15 is 35. And again, what number to fill up here? Find the biggest one. So it's going to be 35. So 35 
plus job G for machine B is 14, so 35 plus 14 is 49. Again, what to fill up here, put the maximum number for this case is 49. And then 49 plus F for machine B is 13, 49 plus 13 is 62. Again, choose the biggest number for this case this time. 62 and 66, 66 is biggest, so you need to put 66 here. 66 plus machine B, D is 11. So 66 plus 11 is 77. Again, which number to choose? Choose the biggest one, 84. And then 84 plus E for machine B is 10, 94. And again, 94 and 99, choose the biggest one. So 99, 99. For machine B, you C is 9, so we got 108. Okay, now we have complete all the table. Now we can answer all of this question. The first one, what is the throughput or mix span of the total process? So in this case, we look at this number. The last number is 108. Again, check again, is it in hour or in minutes? So it's a minute, so 108 minutes. That's the answer that we're looking for. Next, what is the total idle time of the machine? First, we should check on the machine A. Okay, right, so I need to move my picture here. So for machine A, the only idle time happen is at the end here. Okay, so for M1, when machine A is continuously feeding with the job, only the last job that they have the idle time because when it dance with with the job C and then uh, machine A will wait for uh, uh, job C to be completed in the machine B. So the only idle time for the machine A is at the last part. So 108 minus 99, so you get 9 minutes. Okay, for machine B, very careful. Okay, so for machine B, definitely the first one. Because job B is still uh, working in machine A, so j machine B is still waiting for job B to be complete. So the first one definitely 8 minutes uh, is the idle time of machine B. And then we check. If they have a different number here, we need to uh, uh, calculate the idle time. Okay, this one, same, same. This one, this one, same. This one and this one, there's a different number. So it means that... When machine B finishes at 62 minutes, they have to wait until at the 66 minute, uh, the job D will come in. So there's an idle time here, 62 and 66. So 62, 66 minus 62, we have 4 minutes idle here. And then this one also, 77 and 80, uh, 84, that's idle time. And this one also, uh, idle time because 94 and 99 so uh, 8 is from here 4 is from here 66 minus 62 and then 7 is from here 84 minus 77 and the last one 5 is from here 99 minus 94 so that's the idle time for machine B so we need to total up, so we get 9 plus 24, so we get 33 minutes because they ask on the total idle time of the machine. So there's two machines. Next, what is the total waiting job, a uh, waiting time of the job? So for the job, we need to compare these two. Okay, job A, B, G, F, D, E, C. So we need to see these two numbers. The same, so no waiting time, yeah. This is different number, so there's waiting time here, different number, waiting time here, different number, waiting time here, same number, no waiting time, same number, no waiting time, and also same number, no waiting time, so only these three waiting time happen. So 23 minus 18 is 5, 35 minus 29, we get 6, and 49 minus 46, we got 3. So what you have to do, total up all the waiting time, so we get 14 minutes, okay? Next, they ask us to construct a gun chart. So for the gun chart, I told you earlier, start with machine A, and we know that the the, the box must uh, uh, at the end must be the uh, the total throughput or the max span here. It must be one zero eight, and then remember for machine A, you have to follow the sequence. Okay, just copy the table from here. 
8, 18, 29, 40, 70, 99. And then this is the idle time for machine 1, remember, for machine A. And for machine B, definitely, this is the idle time here. So again, the sequence and this one is based on this number here. And then remember, there's a three, there's a three uh, uh, idle time here. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so we have complete the uh, gun chart. And then next, based on the answer in three, suggest what kind of improvement. Okay, they ask us on the job waiting time to reduce job waiting time. So for this case, these are the job waiting time. So what you have to do, these three jobs are waiting. So to improve, okay, what you have to do is uh, bottleneck in machine B because uh, this job are waiting. So uh, add another machine B, okay, so that this job can go to another machine B or upgrade machine B to become faster. So when this, uh, you can reduce the processing time. So this job don't have to wait and just jump into the machine B. Okay, that's all for the improvement that you can make. And I hope you understand. So I'll see you later. All right, bye.